Okay, as soon as we read this problem, we see tangent, so we should be thinking derivative, uh, knowing that we've got to find the derivative of something here. We're told that y equals 4x plus 3 is tangent to the curve at this particular point, and we're told that k is less than 0. So if it's tangent, that means when we take the derivative of this, which will be negative 4x plus k, that's got to be equal to this number here, 4. Okay? Well, as we look at that, uh, we get we see that we've got two variables going on here. Uh, so if we solve this and we're looking for k, uh, so we might think, well, let's go ahead and solve this for k. So we get k equals 4 plus 4x. Well, uh, but we need to know an actual number for k. That's not going to be our solution. What else do we know? We know that this line is tangent to this curve at uh, tangent to this curve at a point. So that means that the line and the uh, curve intersect at that point. So we need to find out where is 4x plus 13 equal to negative 2x squared plus kx plus 5. Well, now we can substitute in for k and we get 4x plus 13 equals negative 2x squared. Uh, if we mul we're going to substitute in, and I'll distribute at the same time, plus 4x plus 4x squared plus 5. We've got a quadratic, so we need to get everything to one side. So I'm going to leave the 0 over here, and I'll have 2x squared combining these two terms. When I take the 4x over, it uh, get, goes away completely. So I'll have no x's. And I'll have 5 minus 13 minus 8, 2x squared minus 8. When is that equal to 0? We can factor out a 2, and we get x squared minus 4, which gives us x equals plus and minus 2. Well, that's what uh, x is, we're looking for what k is. So we were told back up here that k is 4 plus 4x. So we can plug in 4 plus 4 times 2. Uh, that would give us 12. And that's not the right answer because k has to be negative. And if we put in k plus 4 times negative 2 gives us uh, negative 4. So k equals negative 4 would be the correct answer.